Hello folks, and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, just heading out for the morning. We need to get a early start today, because we've got a lot of work to do. We need to win this day. We need to cultivate all of our fields and get all of them seeded. So, yeah, we've got all these fields to cultivate. I've gone and mulched them in between episodes. Also, what I've gone and done is fertilize everything apart from 90 and 88. So yeah, the plan. What is the plan? We need to plant the following. Red beet, carrots and parsnip. Along with sunflower and either corn or sorghum. We do not have at the end because I'm still not too sure. Last episode we plant potatoes in 107. We're going to leave 106 and this area over here for grass so we can get some little silage and that. Just a bit of silage here and there for the cows and that in the future. So yes, yeah, so my initial thinking was to do like all of this. Actually what we can do, since that's, that's a separate area to the rest of these fields, so all these fields are linked together in some way via a path. So. My thinking is, if we do sunflower, and then, I don't know, for this field here we can do sorghum. Because we don't need to do any grains, because we've got wheat, we've got barley, we've got rye, oats, wheat, and oats down here. And I think that's barley, or, no, that's wheat that is, that's the kind of wrong fields. So yeah, we've got plenty of grain to keep ourselves going, because as of this morning, we are out of flour, so we need to get some stuff in. Well, our first harvest next month, but first of all, we've got all of our tractors here, apart from the John Deere 8000 series, so yeah, the mass is going to be on the, what's that, the, ah yeah, the ridger. We'll make the ridges. We've got a John Deere with cedar. And we got our little 355. The what was it? The Farmo Speed Tractor on the drilling. That's gonna be later on. First of all we need to deal with the cultivation. And actually you know what? I'm gonna sell this. Because this is the furnace is a bit big. Oh, what's that? It's a bit big for some years we just gain access to. So what I've got and done is paid a little bit of money to the dealership to lease out a cultivator. I think it's got a disc arrow, I think it is. Yeah, something on the lines I think it's a disc arrow. Slightly bigger than this, but I think it falls. So yeah, we'll go to the dealership now, and we'll have a look. And there we go, at the dealership. So we made, of course, it's too easy to open this early. But we've gained permission to just put the equipment here, and we'll sell it. And they'll deal with it later on when they get in. What I have to do is just lock up when I leave, because, yeah, they're going to turn up for what? Another three hours or so. I've got a lot of work to do, so there we go. Just leaving our workshop. And we'll pay for the repairs ourselves, so have a look here. Be repaired. Two grand to repaint it. So yeah, not too bad. And now we'll sell that. And yeah, it is a very cheap coal bear, so we didn't get too much money out of it. But yeah, it was, was going to fit around like some of the lanes and that. Even on the road it was like overhanging and that. That's why I've gone with the Horse Joker 12RT. And just say, don't think it's part of the horse, uh, was it Horse Aggravation Pack, was it? I don't think so, I think it was in modded one. Yeah it was, so but yeah, that's a hundred grand. 
Uh, we should have horsepower. Actually, fair to use the Massey or that on this, or the 355. But I thought we'd use it for defending that. It's not too demanding. Should have paid attention where I was going. Up our beacons on as well. So, yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. And I think we can start off with here, right? Or no, we for cultivate this, right? I need to see what I've done because I can't remember what we've done. So, yeah, it's just 90 needs. Um, actually, no, 90 is plowed, so. All it is, is just the old grass fields that he's taken care of. Yep, so that's that. So let's go and head over there. Sorry. That time it was my fault for being considered a park in the middle of the road. Had the beacons on, but I should have had the hazards on as well. And yeah, it's got number six to the left here. That's the thing like this. It fits on one day, so gateways and that is going to be absolutely a dream for us. I thought it was well, we will purchase this. Also, money's gone up a little bit. We made 50 grand from selling a pallet of flowers and even though I did say we was going to keep the cakes and the bread, I just got in and sold them, I did, just for the sake of it. But anyway, so here we are. Let's pull into here. There we go, getting some folded. I think I haven't used this at all. And it just unfolds nice and smooth. And it is a shallow cultivator, so. So what's happening today with one of these cultivators, either the horse one, even though I was more tempted to use the far format Phantom, but yeah it's just over our horsepower requirement and I think it is a bit long, yeah slightly longer than this so that's why we went with it, should be decently sized. Let's do it in calves. Try to do it in calf for a little bit. So, position ourselves over here. And I'm just trying to find a spot where that is aligned. That he's like the body or a mirror. So, I'll save. When's that? Was it a filter? Yeah, the filter on the exhaust now. Or the muffler or whatever. So yeah, when that's along the lines of the hedgerow, we should be fine. And there we go. We are cultivating. I'm doing it at what, 10, 11 miles an hour? Mine at three. Oops. And the hedgerow in front of us, so just crank it left. Get that filter aligned like so. And there we go. That is perfectly aligned. Oops, got a bit off course. Actually, fair enough, could do it off course there because of that tree over there. It can be a bit of a fizzism. Fizzism? I'm not sure if that's a word, but <laughs> it's a word to endeavour the death. So, but yeah, we've got a lot of work to do here. So yeah, we'll start off with the cultivating, then we'll be on to the ridge making. Yeah, actually, you know what, I'm not going to bother about you know, going around the edges and that perfectly. Because the plan is going to be, it's going to be a bit uneven, but 6 and 10 will be either one of the new crops. So I'm thinking we'll do red beet on 6 and 10. Moving upwards, I'm thinking 90, 
110 parsnip and then carrots on 45 and 88 in fairness it doesn't make a difference in terms of the harvesting method it's just a different crop type in the end of the day I was thinking about adding one down here but I think in fairness if we look at our crop candor yeah it's only corn soybeans and potatoes I've already returned the potato planter or otherwise I could consider doing potatoes again popular in that I'm not sure how long that takes I think that's what 12 14 months or so to do and again there's fill beans as well but no I think I'll leave fill beans for the time being because yeah we got yeah we're gonna have enough money like next month we got was it 115,000 years to sell that's 450 grand there soybeans that sell we're gonna get about 100 200 grand from that of all that money, around about 2 million we should have, I think. That is going to go on new equipment, so... One valve is a new combine harvester. Got my eye on some decent ones, some... John Deere ones, and even some case ones I've looked at. I think I'm going to go with a John Deere harvester. Just because of the price now, it's like 100 grand. Decent size, 10,000 year hopper capacity. So, yeah, can't complain too much. I am going to try that a experimental header. So, basically, it's one of those headers that sort of folds up in that. So, hopefully, that should be helpful for us. It's only a 7 meter working width. But, it does mean. We'll be able to fit down lanes and that because it'll be about three and a half years wide when transporting. So hopefully it doesn't need a header trainer. But yeah, the actual harvester for the beat snap, well for the beat stuff, for the new crop snap, that's what, 660 grand? And that's not including the 600 grand debt we've got on to get that paid off this year as well. So yeah, we've got a lot of work to do, so what I'll do is a time lapse of getting the coal being done. After a certain period, I will just jump cut, and then we'll go on to, actually fair to say, yeah, would be the bridging. There we go, it is just gone 8 o'clock, I don't know, it's bang on 8 o'clock. 
Ah, we're down to our last field to cultivate, so that took us, yeah, a couple of hours. To get everything done with one cultivator. But also what I've been doing is, I've set the worker off doing the sunflower planting, so we have a look here at the PDA. Pretty much almost all the sunflower has been planted, it's just a little bit over here, a little bit over there, a little bit over there, a bit on the edge, and this section over here. Then, what I was thinking, we just think about what I was doing in time lapse, and that was just doing the cultivation in general. I thought these areas over here, including this, we can just do corn in that. And I said, oh, what do you need corn for? Why not silage? Get some base silage in. That's the thing, we've got three, four different bunker side clamps, so. We can divide them up, so one will be for grass silage, if we do go down that route, which I doubt we will. But if we did, then we can use another side clamp for the... Oh, what's it? Mate silage, basically. That's what you tend to see, especially here in the UK now, is... You'll see, like, forest harvesters and that going around. Obviously not, like, the big massive ones, even relatively small ones in comparison to the game now. Oh, who was it? Fuck. Oh, can't remember any more farming YouTubers on top of my head. But yeah, I think we can do that. We got a huge option of forest officers, but I may go with the... Actually, I'm not sure if I've got installed or not. I'll have a look. So, forest officers. I know we used the Colossus last time. Well, speaking of this, something a bit more older than that, and apparently six meter header. What I would try is if we can go. Oh no, can we go bigger? What's the horsepower of that actually? Four hundred. So four and a half meters seems to be as big as we can go. Well, five meters for that. Oh yeah, I think even with six is a five meter one. That would be too bad for us. And yeah, just get a trailer in. We get a couple of trays over, so then what we do is, well, we cart one back and two from the side clamp. Whilst the other one is on the way, so we have a continuous loop of silage being produced. Well, chaff being produced. TV made into said silage. Yeah, I'm thinking well, there is a few trays that we could consider. Maybe even depending on when we can sort of chaff them. If we run a like a tandem trace out because there are some like, tandem mods in that on mod up. I know you go stupidly unrealistic with oh, was it one drive fifty three videos I'm doing three million years off should be or sugar king whatever it was. I can go down that route of being that stupid. Just something a bit more tamed, a bit more realistic ish. But, yeah I do think you'll do what a tandem forge officer Probably not here in the UK, but if it's amongst our own fields, and yeah, sure, why not? Obviously, if we're on the road and that, yeah, I can't really tandem trailers and that because there's the issue of it taking up at least both lanes. And that's even if it fits down the play lanes itself. So, yeah, whilst the sunflowers being planted, so yeah, 56, 3, 4, and 2, that would be corn. And yeah, we're doing more potatoes, so at least the potato planter again. And kind of that little air there by the green mill, sorted. And then, yeah, we will pretty much then start doing the ridging. Actually, could I leave the work on this? Uh, nope. You're not that way. If I can leave the work on, like, going like this, just something like that. Just do something. We don't go into the other fields. It should do because we've done the heads and that already on this, so 
Apparently it'll take too long. And yeah, now let's do the ridging. So yeah, we're in the Massey. So yeah, first fields would be field 6 and 10. I actually start off with the biggest of fields. Yeah, sure, why not? We can do field 6. Yeah, I'm trying to think in where would the angle be? We can go across left, right, left, to right, right to left, whatever. But what about the diag diagonally? Ooh, hmm. Didn't really check where I was going. There. I was looking on my phone, looking at the map. But yeah, this will be a huge harvest. I am, I'm no longer dread it, <laughs> in a way. Because obviously with what we're using, we're going to be dumping it on the ground. And then just a small task off picking it all up. And I will be using the Lizard Forge pickup. And yeah, a sensible tray. I won't use unrealistic equipment in that. Even though it would be so much easier, but... So yeah. I'm trying to get myself aligned. Can we get to 270? Where's 270 degrees? There we go. Somewhere like that. Hopefully this will allow us to do it this way. And it does, so... We're going across sideways. The edges and that will go around afterwards, but yeah, we are finally rigid. And what it does, it creates the furrows and that for the sea to go in. Obviously, this is what tails look like. That's why, it was it in last episode? Yeah, that's the episode I tried doing that. Doing rigid and then seed in, or you know, rigid like this. Obviously, Perfectly aligned. I am willing to accept that. But yeah, at least with this field, working it, it is so much easier. And then, yeah, we'll get to work on this at some point. I think if we do a like, head in the now, no, no, can't go that way, we can't do that, so we'll stick to this. Worker shouldn't have any issues with it. At some point, and then, yeah, get the other fields done. So, yeah, plan would be is we'll get it done, a little time lapse and that in a bit, and then, yeah, just sort of jump cut to when we're done with, oh, I'm guessing, the origin of the fields now. <laughs> we'll go to the seeding, and oh, yeah, I'm going to be here for at least a couple more hours, but. That's all good. I've got, well, some Mr. TP videos to catch up on. One is Alma and Zero series. Currently, I'm on episode 7. Starting from the live stream episode 2. Watch the first episode. And then, yeah, just between real life now and sort of in time to watch YouTube, I'm sort of a bit more fascinated with his Court Farm series. Or, well, Court Farm in. Chip and Norton series, Clarkson's Farm. But yeah, obviously when I do these things and that, especially these longer episodes, like the planning work involved in them, I think I don't mind doing it. I think, yeah, I'll say all oh, my dread is going to be a pain in the ass and all that. But anyway, it is, it will be. But I enjoy it, and that's the thing. That's the thing that got me into Farm Sims, like, it's just. It is so easy. Top on, just casually play. Next, you know, you lost time. Like, what was it for me recently? Because uh, I'm a moderator on Mississippi's Discord server, I could sort of have missions and that with multiplayer stuff. Because we run a two dedicated servers at YG Portal. If you want to play some multiplayer, join Mississippi's Discord server. I remember in the editing, I'll leave a link below in the comments. So feel free to join the server, accept the rules and that. 
And yeah, I mean, we're playing on Alma and Port Farm, funny enough. But obviously, different to what Miss Sid is doing. But yeah, anyways, where was I going? Oh yeah, recently, yeah. Basically, hopped on for because one of our peeps snapped. So I'm having issues with doing, uh, what was it? Cotton contracts, because on this map, if you get cotton in that, contracts, if it says, oh, take it to Viveview stores, which a lot of contracts will, if you do that, it will not complete the contract because it only accepts in bell form. I'm guessing there is why it says, oh, apparently you can sell cotton at the normal store some point, is loose cotton maybe, but I say loose cotton, I mean like with the cloth stuff and all that other bits and bobs, I'm guessing, but yeah, generally speaking, I don't know. But anyways, getting sidetracked again. I hopped on, I thought, you know what? I'll deal with the contract situation, refund the money in that. Because obviously, you usually get penalties for doing contracts and then you harvest it, but then you don't complete it at the end, but you still harvest it, and you get a penalty in that circle. So you know what? I'll hop on 10 minutes now, do some work in that, on it, get it corrected, and then start recording. However, just off all, mm, what's up on here? I'll do one contract, do another contract, do a bit of field work, do a bit of field prep in that, and all sorts of other things in that, and next thing you know, what was it? Nine and a half hours went by? Just like that. Popped on around midnight, just before midnight here in the UK time. Yeah, it wasn't until I sort of looked behind me, I was just sort of outside. Crap, it's daylight! <laughs> That's the thing with farms is, you can just get so lost in, in a good way, of just being immersed, like, when I play on my own in that, I enjoy like this, like, in cabin that stuff. It's sort of that sort of semi-immersion of it, that's why one of the things I'm hoping with FS25, if we do get Promising 25, obviously if I had to get about Promising 25, if it does come out this year, it will only be on current gen consoles, so I would have to buy another PS5 because I sold my other PS5 I initially bought. But one thing I'm hoping it has some kind of VR. I don't mean like, oh, I'm trying to think of like all make augmented reality stuff like with the Apple Vision Pro and all that stuff, but I say a filming cap, have a VR headset on, and just go look left, look right, up. Down in that, as I'm doing with the right analog stick. Rather than using the analog stick, you know, like use the motion capture with your heads and that. I don't know, it's just little stuff things like that. I'm thinking, like, it'll be such a good addition. And again, the immersion would be just on another level. But, anyways, we've got a lot of bridging to do, so yeah. Perhaps you'll see a time lapse of me doing this build, and maybe field 10. But yeah, I'll also, I'll, then I'll do is sort of just continue to work, jump cut, get what needs to be done, done, finish off the seeding on field 15 and all that. Did I have a worker on something? Was it cold beating? No, that's seeding. You're doing alright. Ah, it was up here, that's why. But yeah, so... Right, fair enough. Didn't do too bad of a job, just a little bit there. So yeah, let's get all this done. And yeah, I'll see foes in what? Another two, three hours or so? Well, this is going to take a while. That's for sure.
just gone 12 o'clock and we've got mostly everything done I would say. We've got seeding done, the bridging's done. Well I say seeding, we haven't seeded the potatoes, you know, not potatoes, the, the new root crops and that. But apart from that, everything else is pretty much almost done. Current oil worker on the field by the grain mill. That is seeding the potatoes, because I thought, as I mentioned before, because of the amount of canola oil we will be making, hopefully. Gonna need some not canola oil, sunflower oil. Gonna need some potatoes to obviously offset that to get as much crisp as we can get. But yeah, look at the fields. Don't look at that bit. <laughs> yeah, apart from little bits here and there. Everything's gone to plan. And what we've gone done is we've returned the taste of caro and we've bought one for ourselves. So that was the whole purpose of it was to lease out for a couple of grand for the day. Which is probably done, but we'll deal with that later on. Because what we want to do is get the round off the episode. We've got some lime to sell, so field. 90 that was ploughed but had stones in it so before I went to ridge it I thought pick it, get the stone pick around and stone pick. The fence is over there, it's about halfway done with the potatoes. Yeah I think we'll, that will finish off in between the episodes before we join each other next time. And yeah, I think it's what, about 31,000 years of line we got? So, thankfully we can use one of our smaller trailers for this, so. Yeah, what we'll do is, we'll go over here. For now, I'll just dump this somewhere in the field. Actually, I do want to use this, or do I want to use the Massey? I think I'll save for the Massey. Yeah, first of all, give us a quick wash now, because, yeah, all that ridging took ages and would have been a lot longer if we didn't have helpers out, so that's why it only took us, what, four hours or so? Uh, yeah, four hours give or take to get all that done. That's including the seeding of the corn and sunflower, so let's have a look here, so... Go to the map, potatoes being planted, sunflower and corn and potatoes. That's grass. And next time we will get all these fields seeded. And I think as I learned with this, I may lease a second seeder out. Maybe the mass, I think in the mass and this John Deere here would be a good pair. Plus the vent, that is getting up in hours, I think. Yeah, very soon it needs to service, so... Yeah, next thing is on 50 hours. I shall check on the fence now. Oh, yeah. Just look at that, it is... Its repair bar is low, it's what? 82% worn, so... Gonna need to be careful there, so we don't break down all that. And I've just gone to have through and not selected the proper tractor, but yeah, got the Massey. And I think we can use the Flegel. There we go, just mind that. Actually, you know what? Uh, nah, yeah, we'll use the Flegel. Because I think it's what, only like 31,000 litres, but we've got enough lime to. Yeah. We've got more than enough lime to sell, so we'll go and get it loaded, and how much lime have we got left? 13,000 litres. Actually, what in fairness, we could sell some of that, so and then get it loaded up, so 31,500 litres. So yeah, then get this loaded. And then I'll top it up with what we've got rest in the commodity storage. And there we go. 
topped up, so yeah, 40,000 of the years. And we'll go and set it at the sell every container as always. So go to our prices. Currently there's a massive price spike in June. They pretty much double, but you know what? Honestly, I'm not too worried about you're going to make too much money from this, what, maybe in around, what, 30 grand or so? So yeah, that's a little tiny profit that covers, I think in fairness, like, the 30 grand we'll get from this will cover, we'll check a sec, the leasing costs and all that, all the other stuff. Okay, vehicle leasing costs, 37 grand. What about workers? Wage payment, 10 grand. And a 1 grand on the loan interest at the moment, interestingly. But yeah, so, yeah, looking at what, 46 grand ish? 40, let's say 47. Obviously, I'm not going to get 47 grand for this, because it's only selling for 700 quid or so per thousand years, so. But hey, it's making a huge chunk of that, that, so at the end of the day, I'm not complaining, and obviously like the lease in that, six grand was the potato. Time to I thought waited, thought about it a bit more, to save yourself six grand, but you know what, it's one of those things, we live and learn. So yeah, I think next time what we'll do is sort seed in. Have at least two seeders, maybe three. I may rope in the other John Deere Nat, the 8000 series. Defend, yeah, I need to start really. I should know, I have to use the other John Deere, could use the. Could use the Lizard 355 Fast Track Toll. Was it Fast Track Toll or Speed Track Toll? I'm not sure. But yeah, we've got enough tractors and that to do the daily work on the farm. Things like the fence could and should be used for hole graining. Don't know why the ship hasn't picked up their tractor yet, but uh, who knows? So there we go. So yeah, we get sold. So yeah, I'll say about yeah, thirty grand or so, give or take. Thirty, thirty-two grand. Let's say that thirty-two grand. I do need to fill this up, but like in fairness, fuel, we've used a fair bit of mount actually. Thankfully we've got that service truck, so we'll leave our equipment in the field and yeah, just do the work. Ah, uh, I was two grand over, not, we were two grand under, but I was two grand over. Oh well, it is what it is. Actually, ooh. Why have you stopped there? Out of all the places. Is it because of the traffic? You know what? I'll just go and finish this off. So finish off off camera in between episodes. See so you next time. We'll see it. We'll roll. Because we need to get the roll done in May. We may skip to June and that, but yeah, this month we need to roll the fields and that for the corn and sunflower. Just to get that yield bonus, because at the moment we can do with that, because I don't know how much we're going to get from these fields, but they're going to be the key product, along with the other work we're going to be doing in the next episodes, to the future of the farm, because remember, we got 600 grand in debt, we got a 600 grand cost for the combine harvester, ideally I'll to get another combine harvester now. Before we start doing the harvesting. So, yeah, we'll do that soon. But yeah, just hopefully we get enough money from some of the soybeans and the fill beans. But, as always, I'm going to have to wait to find out. But, anyways, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But, for as you do, hope you're nice day, but for now, it's a former Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.